Our fall 2013 baptism will be held November 10th at the 6 p.m. service in the chapel. There will be a class held the Sunday before at 9 a.m. in the main building. Sign up on the web or email laura at lauras at canyonviewchurch.com. I've been with my husband for 28 years, and um, we go in a secular motion of up and down and up and down, and I finally had gotten to that point again where I just I have, didn't have any control over everything. I felt like nobody loved me, and I felt suicidal, and I just felt like I needed some help. I felt like he didn't care about me, that I wasn't important to him, and that, you know, we were um, just being mean to each other, and I was treating him like I felt like he was treating me, which was giving me no attention, doing my own thing. Things had gone back and forth like that for so many years, and I knew I didn't want to divorce because we had already tried the separation thing, and, and we both knew that wasn't what we wanted. What I was doing wasn't working, and so I called Soul Care, and then Soul Care led me to celebrate recovery. So I started going, like I said, going to see a personal counselor with Soul Care, and finally I confessed to her that I think the main issue is smoking pot. I mean, for years, God had been telling me, you need to give it up, you need to give it up, you need to give it up. And I was like, oh, I don't need to give it up. I can handle this, you know. It's, it's legal in Colorado. I don't need to stop. I, I can, I've done it for so long, I can handle my life without it. But I, hadn't, I didn't know what life was, was like without it because I had always had it for the last 40 years. And it became all-consuming. It became too important. It was the most important thing in my life. And anything that had that much control over my life had to, had to be a sin, and it couldn't be good for me. People tell me that, oh, well, you don't look like, you know, you probably wouldn't get stopped because you don't look like a typical pothead. And I don't, and I didn't want to. I didn't want people to know. And if I'm that ashamed of it, it obviously is not good and it's not something if you can't if you can't talk about it or say it about you know be upfront about it you probably shouldn't be doing it and I knew that was right it just took me a long time to realize that God was serious about it I just needed something different When I finally came to CR and I got a little chip, you know, my for my first week there, my first time, every time I thought about it, I prayed about it first thing in the morning, every time I thought about it during the day, anytime I had stress, I just gave it to God and I just and he just he took he took away the desire for it. And then once I got that 30 day chip, it was like, all right, I went this long. You know, I remember being excited at seven days. Yes, I went a whole week. And then I got the 30-day chip, and then I got the 60-day chip, and then I got the 90-day chip. And now, there's no way I want to give those chips back because I worked really hard to get those. And I tried and tried and tried in different points in my life. I said, oh, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. But I always found it again and I always went back to it. I always had that desire to go back to it where I don't have that desire to go back to it anymore. And I'm excited that I can tell people, you know, as long as I did it, as long as I smoked pot, if I can give it up with God's help, then he can, God can help you give it up too.